what's going on, you guys? It's Boy Swiper Boom here with another AS no, uh, another mukbang video because I'm not whispering. Uh, for shoutouts, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit us up on all our uh, social media platforms: Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Vine, MySpace, Your Space, His Space, all our platforms. Now you already know I say this, and I'll say it again: our most active uh, uh, social media platform currently is going to be Love at First Bite Vlog. Go on Instagram, type in Love at First Bite Vlog, and go at me, go DM me, PM me, send me some Emmys, okay? And uh, that's where you'll see most of our activity that's going on. Uh, the, mo the second most uh, active one that I have is actually my Snapchat, which is, I believe, Suave Boom. Um, I'm on there too. I've been getting a lot of love on there because I've been posting uh, a couple videos and just trying to get more consistent into the whole thing. So I do appreciate the love on all you guys saying I'm back and everything. But uh, nah, I'm just being lazy and the whole move got me, you know, twisted. And uh, Rocky's here. Hey, no, don't touch that. And uh, yeah, anyways. Oh, if you want to get the hookup on your uh, coldest water bottle, uh, make sure to hit that link down below. Click the link, punch in promo code BOOM and make sure to... Get your hookup on one of these coldest water bottles. You can get this big one right here, or we get the smaller one. It's like 22 ounces or something like that. It's pretty dope. Keeps your cold stuff cold. Hot stuff hot. The coldest water bottle. Um, shout out to all the people out there that are sick and tired of hearing about the coldest water bottle. Um, if y'all want to start sending me checks, then uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and stop doing that. But I'll be honest with you, man. A lot of people, like if you're a YouTuber, you know. A lot of these other people that talk a lot of mess, they don't know. This is one of, you'll get emails about random shit all the time. Like, you'll get emails about, like, hey, man, can you advertise my boots? Hey, can you advertise my uh, fanny pack? Hey, can you advertise my pans for the kitchen? Like, just random stuff that you don't ever, nothing. You'll never think about using or incorporate it into this. These are, these are cool. I mean, Rocket, what are you doing? You did that, Mama? Yeah. No, you did it. I gave it to you. Come here and say hi. Come here and say hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hey, just because I'm doing a mukbang doesn't, like, give a pro... You, should I shut the door? No, it's okay. Okay, well, stop making noise. I want Rocky to come say Rocky, hi. go. Go. Anyways, like I said, this is one of the coolest things to get on the coldest water hookup. Hit the link, promo code BOOM, get yourself the hookup. Anyway, it's been about three minutes. I got some shrimp tempura steam buns, and I have a pork katsu rice bowl. This is one of my favorite things to get right here. Let me show you. Let me let me pull this up up front real quick so I can really really show you. Mm. This is um white rice, all the veggies, the sauce is spicy mayo teriyaki, a bunch of garnish. It's it's, it's yeah. Let me just get this thumbnail going like this is that good everybody is that good or is that too much too much mm, no let me back it up a little bit Now that's a thumbnail. All right, so we're about to get into this pork katsu. It's basically just like a thin thing of pork, fried, battered, really good stuff. Hey, hey, do I gotta constantly come over here and close the door? Huh, Rocky? <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Mm. Oh my god. Down the wrong tube. Mm. I'm all paranoid, man. Mm. 
あれなんかこうだいあそこまでうなレブスビデオバッグ。We started, started piling up. You know when you only have a plan to like, hey, let's go to the post office and then we'll go to the grocery store just to pick up like two things and we'll go home. And that turns into like post office, Aldi's, Walmart, Whole Foods, gas station, all these different multiple, the mall, all these different multiple stops. And you're like, you know what? I'm not buying more things. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I the past three videos I've been not incorporating the ring light. I've been just using it as like the holder for my phone. I know.、Uh, this room has great natural lighting. So we're going to keep it like that. Mmm. Why not? Shrimp tempura steam bun. w a n t to open it up. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, I even went to the. The Korean market, too. Let me ask y'all something, man. Do y'all, um. Are you guys buddy, like, whoever's watching this, that's who I'm asking. What is your relationship like with people at your job? Are you acquaintances? Are you just cordial with them? Are you the quiet person that stays to themselves and doesn't want to hang out with anybody? Here's my issue. People assume. If you're an extrovert, that you want that life. That people assume, oh, he's an extrovert. He's always talking and socializing with everybody. That means he's like, he's, he'd be down to go have a drink with us and hang out and this and that. Uh, no. <laughs> um, and it's not even that I don't. Everybody, I love everybody I work with. Like, for real. Like, I work with a really good group of people. 
when I get up, and, and the and the people that I work with make my job very pleasant, very pleasant. And I guess I just uh. When I get off work, I just want to be with my wife. I just want to hang out. And I'm also like very honest for people. I don't do the whole like, I don't do the whole, let me give somebody an excuse why we can't hang out. Um, Sometimes I just give it to them straight up. Like, <laughs> this is a perfect example. Um, I did something recently with a bunch of coworkers. And everybody was trying to coordinate. Hey, you riding with them? Are you riding with them? Are you going with them? What time? Can I just meet up with you at your house and then we'll go together to the spot? And then Y'all do what you want to do. I will meet you at the place there when it's time when we're all meeting. Well, hey, didn't you move though? So don't you technically live over by this spot near me and near this person? And maybe you shouldn't. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Hey, get out of here. I'm not with it. I don't want to pick you up. I don't. I don't want to pick you up. I don't want to drive together. I don't want to carpool. But it'll save gas. I don't know. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to do that. Why? What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. But it doesn't mean I don't like that person or, or I like them less than this person. Or It doesn't. Me and any, I still enjoy everybody's company. I just don't, I don't want to, pay, I, why can't, why is it wrong for me to, am I just at that age where like, I'm just, I'm just going to be honest. That's it. Where I just don't hold back. And, and like, I, I want to be able to say these things and I want to, and I want you to be like, all right, he doesn't want to pick us up because he do, doesn't want to pick us up. The reason behind him not wanting to pick us up is he doesn't want to. And he's like, obviously, like I went and I went out of my way to go to this other spot to hang out with him because I like these people. I do. Why is that wrong? Why do I have to incorporate? Why like you got to come over, see my spot, get in my car? Am I bugging? <laughs> am, I, am I becoming like old crazy man that's like, ah, get off my lawn, kids. I don't want, you know, be around people. So, that's just one example, but, like, it's also with, like, get-togethers and parties and stuff. I don't want to go. I don't. I don't want to hang on nobody. But, it's wild because when I'm at work with them, I'm having, a, I'm having a great time. Like, I'm laughing. Like, yo, so this one particular person is, like, my work buddy. She's a trip. And she always has me laughing. Her and I have the same personality. And she's just funny, man. She's just funny as hell. And I vibe with her. Yeah, she's cool. Cool as hell. Good people. I talk about my family with her. She talks about her family with me. Cool as hell, right? Wildin'. Her and I always at work. Wildin'. Great time. Hey, you want to go get lunch? You want to go out? Uh, no. But she's the same. She don't want to hang out with me outside of here. We have an ongoing joke, right? Where don't, don't friend request. Like, she don't accept nobody on, on Facebook, right? But it'd be funny as hell because she'll be she'll see something funny on social media, and then she'll <laughs> and 
Ivy's Ivy's uh, outside the window in the backyard. And, um, she'll send me something funny via Facebook Messenger, but we're not friends. <laughs> and I'll send her stuff, and we're too like I ain't friend requesting you, and I ain't friend requesting you either. Like, like we don't want to take it like, like we have the same personalities and we both vibe, but I don't want it. But that's it. That's the kind of friend I want. The kind of friend that like I'm just cool with you at work. I'm like uh, like. Like, like, if we grew up together, she would have been my homegirl. Like, she is funny as hell. She would have been the homie homie. You know, like my sister on, on some sister type shit, right? But we at work. And we work like 50 hours a week. And I'm tired. And yeah, the idea of like hanging out with you and da da da. But what we gonna do? We gonna hang out and get dinner or, or lunch or whatever. Abby's gonna come. You're gonna bring your significant other too. And what we gonna do? Talk about work, because that's all we do. We just clown everything at work, right? I don't know. I just, I, I like asking people that stuff because I always find it weird when people are overly friendly with their coworkers. Like, Abby is on some, um, she want to have a housewarming party, and she wants to invite all her coworkers from her job, and she wants me to invite my coworkers from my job, and other people that we know, and bring them over. And all I'm thinking is, two things. Why? I'm good. I don't want to... <laughs> A full house full of people? No. Two, if we do it, which we will, because she's the boss. Um, how can we get the ball? How fast can we get them in, feed them, and out? So I'm like, I'm doing the math. Like, all right, we'll do like a 12 to 5 thing, right? So for people that work in the morning, when they get off, they can come to the crib. For people that, you know, work at night, they can come in, in, in the afternoon, you know, whatever. So I'm thinking like 12 to 5. This is the window of when you can come to Berto's house and I'll feed you and I'll I'll have beer and liquor. So I'll, I'll liquor you up, feed you, and get out. <laughs> I don't want nobody in here after five. I want to be in bed by 930, all right? And I'm not, I'm not on some like, I'm not a teenager. I'm not a college kid, all right? I'm not on some like, if you get fucked up, but you are an, you are an adult. If you get fucked up, there ain't going to be no, I ain't, oh, lay down. Here's some water to stay. No, you're not good. Say no. No, bye. Good luck. <laughs> uh, these words, uh, Bur Berto Smalls, uh, do not affect the. Uh, these are all jokes. I'm just good joking around. No, I would totally let you, like, let me get you an Uber and I'll care for you. And then now. Good luck. All right. You want a dog? You got too slizzy? You got too slizzard? To drive now? No. You are not staying here. You're not crashing. I'm not hooking you up. I'm not trying to sober you up. No. Come over. Get drunk. Get fed. Get out. I'm all talk. That's my fantasy party that I want to have. But I know Abby's going to be like, no, 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 it's not safe. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to talk about that real quick. Thank you so much for having dinner with me. Thumbs up the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe. Leave in the comments below what you think about what I just talked about. And we'll see you next time in the next video. All right, y'all. Peace.